Today's episode is brought to you by Usual Wine, the modern drinker's wine made right here in California with zero additives and zero sugar. Get $8 off your first glass today with the code BEAUTIFUL. Usual Wines are wines for the modern drinker. Each bottle, 6.3 ounce, a heavy pour, or about a glass and a half of wine. No more pouring wine down the sink when you don't want to finish the bottle. Because of the single serve format and bottle design, usual always fresh, no more flat, bubbly, or stale rosé. Usual wine, low carb, zero gram sugar. They have red blend, a rosé, and sparkling white wine called Brut. We also have usual spritz, low alcohol 8.5% ABV, low calorie wine spritzers made of sparkling wine and guava juice, like white claw but for grown up. Each serving, 83 calories. Incredible. Let me tell you something about my personal life. When I eat food, I like wine. Not in the morning, just in the afternoon, late afternoon and at night. I enjoy the rosé. I also enjoy the bubbly. Usual wine, incredible. No more pouring wine down the shower. Perfect portion. They delivered right to my door. I'm a very happy person. Okay? You try it now. Go check out their website at www.usualwines.com and use my discount code BEAUTIFUL for $8 off your first order and try your first glass on us. Oh, hello there, listeners. I didn't see you come in. I was very busy at home working on my personal website through an incredible program, which you might have heard, Squarespace, darling. That's right. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know where to begin with its efficacy, its ease, its clarity of instruction, and, well, its usefulness in promoting my brand. What is my brand exactly? Well, I'm so glad you're asking. It's a little niche, and, um, you know, it, it has to do with the disappearance of a fictional porn star, but I find that Squarespace allows me to utilize their tools so clearly, easily, and efficiently that I generate all the types of buzz and mystery I need in order to propel my brand into... A future that I find satisfying, yes. They've got it all. Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, as well as analytics. It is really a one-stop shop for the creation of websites, regardless of your experience in website construction. I once heard a story about a grandmother who had lupus, leukemia, and a bum eye, as well as glaucoma, arthritis, and a whole host of other things, and that certainly did not stop her from creating her own lovely candle-selling website on Squarespace. They've got marketing tools, darling. Marketing, that's right. Help drive traffic to your site or grow your brand. They've got social media integration, which automatically pushes website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Oh, Squarespace, how do you do it so good? And why do you give it to me so well? Head to squarespace.com slash bald for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, that's squarespace.com slash bald fuck it we'll do it live <laughs> okay okay i think we're doing it is well, it happening i'll start over here yeah, yeah. Yeah. what do you want some fucking drum roll yes <laughs> you saw you saw me here for four hours <laughs> yeah so now, let like, me let me everybody, everybody shut up everybody shut up i'm gonna give her a proper intro thank you katya welcome to the stage an incredible woman of a veritable prodigy of chocolate excellence. <laughs> she is the queen of the yen, the daughter of the dollar, the eunuch of the euro. <laughs> it's Monet Echange. Yeah! That was great. Thank you. Yeah, oh, oh, nice. oh. <laughs> Was that like Rocky music? No, I have like a bunch of stuff. Oh. <laughs> I, I guess I could have given you a pause. This yeah. is right. What was the <laughs> yeah. other thing you gave me? What, what, what's that Twilight bling? Zone. I'll give it up for money exchange. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, these are the stock ones, and mm. you can 
program in whatever you want. Um, uh-huh. so I, you if we know ever where we're going to program. Request, what? Sucking, sucking dick, dick and cock. Sucking dick and cock. <laughs> Do you know about that? No. Oh, Monet. There's, oh, God. Wait, long story short, there's a 38 year old woman who tried to take someone to the cleaners on YouTube, and she was complaining that he was at her birthday party, a 19 year old, and uh-huh. he was talking about sucking dick and cock at my birthday party. Oh, I know who that is. Sucking dick and cock. <laughs> so. I will say, this is very shady. I did not know this was going to be on camera. And Trixie oh. is over here giving full on. She like did her skincare oh, moisturizing routine today, and I look like Gollum the Black bitch. I'm gonna stop you right there because we have camera evidence of this. I see nothing of the sort. Nothing of the <laughs> she sort. She's very moisturizing, very healthy. You too, though. Uh, I mean, she is the moment. Mona, <laughs> come on, Monet is lying. Am I several being times. crucified for setting up all the cameras? Ever having good skin? <laughs> I'm very happy to christen. <laughs> what is the truth? Yeah, what is the what is the truth? I'm also happy to christen your new recording yeah. space. Well, we needed someone who looked good. So. <laughs> if, uh, let's address the elephant in the room, which is the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the elephants in the room. Yeah, yeah. The three fat bitches. Room. Which is we have cameras finally. Yay! Yeah. And uh, we're, we're to work in progress. Two of these are my YouTube cameras. I snatched out of my house today. Yeah, I love here. that. Yeah, and was, that one. So the the one from the studio. That one's actually a really nice camera. Well, it was a full... Trixie has become yeah. Yeah. like yes. a fucking... Martin Spielberg. <laughs> Martin Spielberg. Mar- Martin She's Short. here. Yeah. She's here programming things. She's moving yeah. cameras. She's doing lines. Yeah. And Katya and I just eating high chews. Literally just wandering, <laughs> drooling, wondering. <laughs> when's it going to happen? I got Cool Ranch in my eye earlier. <laughs> it's so crazy. We've been Life through a lot. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I do the fat bitch thing. Okay, have you ever eaten chips in public? And of you course. get to oh. the back, to the end, and you don't want to be that girl <laughs> to, to do this. It. And then, so I normally do the thing. I'm like, I'm trying to be as coy as pinch, possible. Pinch, pinch. But I'm like, I don't, I'm, yeah. bitch, I dumped the entire thing in my eye and Cool Ranch got in my right eye. Damn. Yeah. Would you do that in front of Selena Gomez? I sure would. Okay. And, and she's right next to yeah. <laughs> Selena Gomez is oh, yeah. next she door today. She is. She is. Selena Gomez is in the building next door. Yeah. She is. Yeah. Yeah, when they have security out there, when I pulled up in my um my little Mazda protege Uber, um <laughs> they they the man came out and said, "Who the fuck do, are you? And do you think you're getting in here? I don't think so. Not on my watch." <laughs> I, I love you like a love song, song baby. baby. That's a Selena Gomez song. It surely yeah, is. I think that's Vanessa Hudgens. And nope, Selena Gomez. Is, <laughs> it's Selena. Is Gomez. it Selena? Absolutely. Yeah. And Selena Gomez. Sure? I'm, I'm positive because I know I have the Russian version. <laughs> So, I mean, let's let's address it. The elephants in the room, <laughs> which are, you have two podcasts. I know. What two. the fuck? Who what are you trying to prove? You know. Why do you think? <laughs> Anyone you are was so listening. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, my first time into podcasting was a sibling rivalry and Bob, but I genuinely, I like podcasting. I like talking to people and finding out interesting things. I'm actually, I have three, I have the the Macbeth one too. Right. Oh my God. And oh, wait, you don't know about her and the drag queens doing Macbeth? Girl. I would like to not know. <laughs> <laughs> it's myself and the Love Peppermint mm-hmm. and it, we did it for um, Play On Podcast and we're okay. being the witches in Macbeth. That's amazing. Now, yes, you, you, that is amazing. Sounds amazing. Uh, our, no, it, it, and it is amazing, mm-hmm. but I am the most ignorant Cultural theater bitch, okay? I never okay. did any Shakespeare. Okay. When I had, when Shakespeare. I, Shakespeare in love. <laughs> Shakespeare in love. When I was assigned Shakespeare in school, I never did it. I would always go to sparknotes.com. I was like, yeah. what happened at the end of this Romeo and Juliet thing? Yeah. I don't got time to read this whole. Blah, blah. Well, you know what happens. Yeah. Sucking yeah. dick and cock. <laughs> <laughs> they both go suck dick. They go on a, they go on with a cock in New York, <laughs> yeah. and they get Jaeger bombs. Have y'all yeah. ever been to the cock in New York, either of you? No, I think I have. Yeah. And like delighted in the activities there. I have not partaken. Okay. In My New yeah, York either. experience is so limited because I only ever went there after I was dra- drag race. Okay, so I only ever go there to do a show or mm. like yeah. Maybe go to one bar. Cry I go to see bar. you. Yeah. yeah, you did. You, Trixie. There's a picture. I just pulled it on my computer actually of you coming to see me at Industry Duvet Drag. When Trixie, you would and Kati has yeah, come a couple times came. too. We, I, lo- yeah. I mean, I loved it. I think I've, I'd never forget that night. That was fantastic. Thank you. So You're great. Thank you. You've yeah. always been amazing. Thank you. Yeah. you. You really are like I think one of the best. Like I don't know. Living. Drag <laughs> yeah. Queens. Well, because I and I also recall that I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Bob had 
probably been on the show that season yeah. and I was like oh it's like a pretty bob <laughs> pretty bob <laughs> pretty bob oh my god what? so Bunny and I recorded an episode of Ebony and Irony and Kevin Aviance was our guest right mm-hmm. so I talked to Kevin Aviance about nightlife and mm-hmm. his obviously his songs cunty then da 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 yeah. and he was like then he goes and like one gear missed thing do you know this the, there was this queen in New York Um, she's on the show now uh, uh, Bob the, I was like oh yeah Bob the drag queen she, she's on the show she's like Miss Thing she was fierce and like fierce in the bad way because yeah. fierce can be used yeah. He was like, oh. she she called herself doing a um a, a tribute to me and missing it was not the tea. And he was just <laughs> dragging Bob. Doing oh his- my god. <laughs> Someone it lied was- to her several times. Someone <laughs> lied to her several <laughs> times. <laughs> it was so juicy. I loved it. I was like, mm, ooh, I love this so much. Say it, so again, much. Say it, ooh, again. it was you so said, good. Uh-huh. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> I love that. I, I, I love, love it. it. Kevin yeah. Aviance dragging Bob. How the look wasn't like him. The performance was bad. It, I, I, like Miss Thing, I would never wear that Miss Thing. Ooh, girl, chop. I was like, <laughs> it was amazing. That is fantastic. <laughs> That's oh. fierce. That never happens. To, well, uh, people have mostly nice things to say about. I mean, she's my Bob. So if, if people have mostly nice things to say about you. Yeah, and I think if they have something like um, on on, if there's something not nice to say. I, I totally get it, you know, because it's probably like, you know, it, it I th- opinions, opinions don't ever bother me. Right. But like, if it's something that, you know, that I've done, like, you know, then I probably did it. And, and, and you know, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys have honest kids. I can, I love kids juices. You do. Are you a Chimo? <laughs> Because that sounded like you, you know, I don't know. I just, love I'm just kids yeah, juices. Just, yeah, I was just going to say. Like tiny, like You the, have been hanging out with Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I love kids juices. Oh my God, I wasn't even thinking that way. Well. But <laughs> they're low calorie, they're the perfect size, and it's like this. It's like the proportions you should be having. Because when, you, when you're when you American and you go to, to like the UK or whatever, as you guys obviously both know, yeah. you're like. Oh, we travel. <laughs> <laughs> booked. You're like, in America, they're trying to kill us. The proportions yeah. are big as your yeah. head. Yeah. In the UK, they're like, hey girl, here you go. Here's here's a little slab yeah. of brisket. Yeah, that'd be thirty five like, dollars. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And it's like normal people's <laughs> servings of food. Although I did uh, recently, I was uh, somebody posted like a, a Instagram food pic of a full English breakfast on, um, and, and I and there, as like a, this is like, you know my dream breakfast, and I was like. I looked at that fucking thing and I said, I hope I never see any of that fucking shit again no. in my life. The <laughs> food there is not aspirational it's in any not. way. I was like, that not. looks like this is his his culinary dream. Someone it was lied my to them several night- times, oh, girl. Very, yeah. It was my nightmare. A nightmare on Elm Street right there. I, like the 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 fried egg, the the brown sea of beans. The half tomato pan fried. The half tomato and, yeah. and the, um, the, uh, the black beans. beans. The baked beans. The, 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 the gray mushrooms. And then it was that black. The black chuck, thing with the, the, with the little. Blood pudding. It was the charcoal briquette of blood pudding not the and tea mama the hat the 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 thick um tough and fatty um bacon sauce oh, it was just so I, disgusting it makes bacon. me think of touring like halloween with sharon uh-huh. and like no matter what state sharon was in the night before she walks into that hotel lobby going i never miss an english breakfast <laughs> she loves it <laughs> Does she, she? It's disgusting. Oh, she would be down there in a leather jacket <laughs> eating blood pudding sharon is wild <laughs> blood pudding that's what came out of my ass after the marathon <laughs> <laughs> blood pudding. <laughs> did you did, have you already talked about the fact that you you put a suppository in and because you had hemorrhoids and then you, the, it came out during oh the marathon God. I was I, I, I was to be like shut up well, <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on blast but I really did want to mention it oh yeah thank you for not giving me the opportunity to speak on it with, with, with in no way describing exactly what happened without my permission when I ran the marathon I ran so much that I gave myself a hemorrhoid yeah. and so I had a suppository up my asshole yeah. and, and the, I put it in before the marathon probably not smart well because the, the training is what you had given you the marathon yeah, right. the I mean, constant, that, I mean, yeah, it happens. People the, training. The hemorrhoid. Okay. Yeah. So then I'm running and um, when you're, let's say you're, you're running 30 miles basically and mm-hmm. you're not even halfway there. Yeah. Don't trust a fart. Yeah. Trixie, yeah. shut up. It's crazy. I had to pull crazy. my pants down on the side of the road and wipe myself with a leaf and yeah. keep running. Well, see, and you know what? I finished the marathon. Hello. That's it's a marathon, part. not Survivor, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> well, see, I, 
this didn't surprise me at all because I remember from the Boston Marathon years and years ago, her name was Uta Pippig, famously finished the marathon with uh, shit, I think, and maybe like period blood running down her legs. Whoa. People shit themselves a lot oh, in marathons. Yeah. I don't know that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, would, think, I, think, I think that's I, what the white people, black people don't be shitting themselves in marathons. No, I don't need a marathon to uh, shit myself. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the fastest uh, marathon runners in the world are, are black, like, yeah. from yeah. Kenya. Yeah, 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 Kenya, Ethiopia. And they finish it. I watch videos of people from um, Africa finishing a marathon in under two hours. How long did it take miles. you? That can't be true. Five and a that half hours. That cannot be true. Wow. That cannot yes, be true. Yes. Under two hours. Miles. But I will say this. After learning a lot about marathons and like uh, reading, the people who win marathons look like they are on the verge of death. Oh, girl. Yeah. Veins, yeah. vascular, yes. vascular yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. skull yeah. head, yeah. 100 pounds with a yeah. bunch of medals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And never under 30. I know. I know. Fucking 55 years old. I yeah. know. Yeah. I know. Horrible. But this is when you're fifty. When you're fifty-five, what else do you have to live for? But fucking run a marathon. Like, what else is there to live for? Not your fucking snotty nose kids. <laughs> 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 it's this, finish this marathon and then suicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I wiped my butt with the leaf and I kept running. That's crazy. She had also, I think, the uh, on a longer training day before the marathon, about five miles in, uh -huh. she pissed herself. Uh huh. And she and and was it all the time, girl? But she said, you know, at five miles in, this was like a fifteen mile. I had to run, run twenty miles. Yeah. And I peed at five. Yeah. Word. At that point. She wanted, she wanted to pee. Oh, you, you sure did. She wanted to. Also, you all, you, have you ever been coming from a gig and you're like, like, you get in the car and you're like, okay, I can make it to the hotel in time and I'll, 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 everything will work out fine. Bitch, by the time your body senses your a minute away from the lobby of the hotel it's, it's, all, it it's happening it it's coming yeah. it's, it's coming yeah. 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 I pissed myself in so many hotel lobbies yeah. especially the one in El Paso, Texas I was so drunk I just I just let myself go in the bathroom and then I and then I was I came back down Makeup salon, corset on, panties with a towel, attempting to want to. I was like, "Can I help? I, I can, I can, like drunkenly trying to clean up my piss in the fucking lobby." Oh, you oh, <laughs> talk to this one. She has, she, she, she famously has about twelve seconds between the hotel door and the toilet. So that's how I started pissing in the sink because I, I it's so it's such a crazy biological thing that happens as soon as I get into the. It's like just, it, it's really just a, like the clock is ticking. It is. But so I went into, I crashed the threshold of the bathroom in my apartment, and it just started the stream came mm -hmm. but so i quickly just faced the sink uh -huh. and then i found out it's a perfect urinal <laughs> it's the perfect urinal my, i had a low toilet and okay. i was like it's the perfect urinal plus i'll save all that water i just do a quick ch -ch. <laughs> i pissed in the sink for five years after sink. that <laughs> like without like just just because yeah a door open actually didn't have a door in the bathroom you've been there a remember piss in the yeah. sink is worth a shit in the toilet. <laughs> okay, yeah. or sh okay. Can I tell you guys a story? Oh, I've been please. so. I had this guy I was hooking up with regularly for like at least a year. You know, mm -hmm. about a year we hook up regularly, and it was always regular things. Like he's ex he's expressed some of his fetishes to me. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that's cool. And we tried some drag? of them. No, I just out of drag. Mm -hmm. And he was, I was like, and some of them we tried, but you know, because he's like a regular partner, or whatever. And then one day he is like, I really want to get into like poopy stuff. Yeah, he sounds regular. On a, he keeps saying regular, and I knew that. Poopy stuff. Also, the description. Stuff. Also, the poopy description. Stuff. Oh, I want to try poopy I know the, stuff. But, what, what exactly did he say? Did he say that exactly those words? No, he, he said poop. Poop. Because okay. he's also, he was, uh, he's um, Dominican. Okay. This guy up in Washington Heights. And I, he had a full girlfriend too, I'm, 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 I believe. Anyway. Okay. okay. So, um, so then he said, and I was like, yeah, that's just, what I'm, I don't want to get into, like, I'm yeah. not into that. Yeah. You know, he's like, okay, cool. So we hooked up that time. He came over again. He meant, he brings it up again. Like, as wow. I'm like between his legs, sucking his fucking dick, right? Going in on this foreskin, like eat, having, like, it's like the last supper, right? Wow. <laughs> And then, and then chewing the cud, <laughs> chewing the cud. So now he wants to try this like sixty nine moments. Now he's sucking my dick, and then but I want the bottom. So he's uh, sucking my he's sucking my dick, and his dick is in my area. I, and then and then he like t pulls his dick out of my mouth, and he's jerking off. And then no, I feel no no no, <laughs> no a warm sensation. This motherfucker dropped a doll of a shit on my chest. Like a, a sizable dollop of like legitimately y'all like about probably like this. I cannot. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god. So I like, push him off and I run to the bathroom. I take a baby wipe, scoop it in the toilet, and I get Clorox wipes because I have them in my bathroom sink. And I wipe my. I'm like, you have to go. Like I, I this, I this is not okay. And he's <laughs> mind you, and he's watching me do this and just still jerking, no, just still no. jerking off as I'm in the bathroom cleaning up. He's like jerking off. Unbelievable. Yes. This is. <laughs> <laughs> that it was, I was so upset because it was great dick you know yeah, what I mean sure, and I was like absolutely. now this can never happen again now I don't trust you motherfucker yeah. you just shit on my chest 
What the f- And it's funny because, I mean, I, I, I assumed that he would be, like, eating your ass trying to suck the shit out of you. No, no. Pardon my French. No, he, but, yeah, yeah, he, wanted to, he wanted to put his shit on me. He wanted to be the shitter. He wanted to be the shitter. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it that, was. I, I, oh, my God. I, it, honestly, at that moment, I, I literally lost my faith in people. And like, yeah. I was like, and I Dominicans can't trust anyone. Especially. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that wow. is psycho. We're going to take a break. <laughs> okay. Hello, darling. Are you unhappy with your smile? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be. Thousands and thousands of people have used Candid, the clear, comfortable, removable, and practically invisible aligners to help straighten their teeth. And now, (laughs) they love this smile. Just like Cameron from Nashville, Tennessee, who says, once I started Candid, my life completely changed. I started going to the gym more. I started eating better. I even have better dental hygiene. My goal for my wedding was perfect teeth and Candid got me there. Well, Cameron, ha ha ha, I'm so happy for you. I could just smile all day, ha. Your treatment is prescribed and closely monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist who's an expert in tooth movement. You'll have the same quality of care you'd get from an in-office orthodontist from the comfort and convenience of where? Uh, your own home. And while other companies use general dentists, uh, Candid simply works with orthodontists exclusively, darling. Orthodontists, specialists in the movement of teeth. Ah, With Candid, the same orthodontist who created your plan is with you from start to finish, so you never have to wonder how you're doing. Are you sick of wondering how you're doing? I am as well. I never have to do it with Candid. Ah, ah, I wonder about other things, like what's my niece doing? The average candid treatment is just six months. You'll start seeing results way before then, and it costs thousands less than traditional braces. Listen, a smile transmits to the world non-verbally that we are happy, self-actualized people lurching towards success with joy and aplomb. It's important, even if you're miserable. I implore you. Become your best you. Start straightening your teeth today. Right now, you can save $75 on Candid Starter Kit. Go to candidco.com slash bald and use code bald. That's candidco.com slash bald. Code bald. Take advantage of this limited time offer to save $75 on your starter kit. Candidco.com slash bald. Code bald. Hi, darling. I want to know, is there something that interferes with your well-being? Something that prevents you from achieving goals to fulfill your destiny? Well, BetterHelp can provide assistance in that arena and so much more. BetterHelp assesses your needs and matches you with your own licensed professional therapist all in a safe and private online environment. Convenience, darling. You never have to leave your home. You don't have to sit for hours in traffic and then slump in a chair in an awkward waiting room. No, 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 no. How it works is you send messages to your counselor anytime and you get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. All of this without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can find particular expertise you need online. Never limit yourself to the counselors located near you. Specializations in depression, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, grief, self-esteem, and so much more. BetterHelp's online therapeutic services are convenient, professional, affordable, and just wonderful. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash bald. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. And we're back. Mm. So, mm. you have this incredible podcast that I love called Ebony and Irony with one Lady Bunny. Lady How Bunny. did you get... I know you guys knew each other, but how did you get this idea? Can you see all this on the table? What? Can you see all of this on the shot? Oh, no, but I'm going to make sure people know what she's doing over here. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's fine. It's you fine. You don't know about fucking this is Reptar real life. over here letting this the kids have it. <laughs> so, you know, Bunny, you call mm-hmm. her, you go, we should do a pod, or what's the tea? Yeah, so, okay, so one of my, I don't know if y'all have ever heard it. Bunny and Bianca did a podcast, like, are you kidding? Derek and Romaine? The Derek and Romaine. Mama, I listened all we to talk it like about. 12 it times. It is one of the funniest things it's ever. It's just, it's all we talk about. It is pure serotonin. <laughs> so, pure but, serotonin. Like, Trixie's now eating her high chews and throwing them in front of me. <laughs> so I look like the big fat monster Gas bitch. Gaslighting. <laughs> Gaslighting. Oh my God. So I, I have listen. a flask in my bag. I'm going to put it next to you. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I, I, at least I like, can quote that thing literally. Yeah. Ver- it's one of the oh, funniest yeah. things yeah. ever. All yeah. the time. You know what I mean? All the time. So then, so like one day randomly, like in September of 2020, I was doing something and those bunny phone calls. Yeah. You see the phone ring and bunny. I was like, oh God, do I have an hour in my life to devote to this conversation yeah. with Lady Bunny? There's a lot of drag queens like that. <laughs> One is vivacious. I've never received a phone see? call. See? Well, here's the thing. I don't think she has my Anytime number. a New York City queen gets on drag race, Vi- Vivacious does her ceremonial vivacious conversation or home visit. Is this like a like a um like a Orientation, honestly, that's okay. what it is. But Vivacious and I weren't friends like that. But she was friends with Bob, so she had heard that I, that I that I got on the show, and then uh, uh, oh no, this is after filming. But it was about to be announced. Mm-hmm. So then Bob invites Briss, just shows up at my, at my home with Vivacious, like in my door. So I hear, I had, I wasn't expecting anyone, bitch. I was probably trying to plan some dick for that evening. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I hear my, I'm knowing like, you, <laughs> I'm like who the <laughs> fuck is at my door? Open my door is fucking these two bald black bitches, Bob and Vivacious, standing at my front door. And I was like, what are you guys doing here? This is odd. And then and Bob you had like, twists at the time. <laughs> I had twists. Yeah, yeah. Had twists. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then so Vivacious stayed at my home and followed me to like work for like. About six hours, just talk to me about drag race, are, what I need to expect, what I need serious? to do, how to prepare, blah, 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 blah. Does she have a binder or a packet or, like, handouts you know, at all? she's just starting off her vivacious PowerPoint. knowledge. Yeah. PowerPoint. <laughs> what, what was she saying? Just different things about, like, mama. Now, now, when you when you go to that gig in, um, in, um, in um, Vienna, the the life ball, mama, let me tell you one thing. On the, on the plane, paint, when you paint on, like, just different her tricks and oh my God. tips and tricks about drag. <laughs> Stop putting the fucking candy in front of me, bitch. I don't know what you're this talking about. so rude. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it used to be Bunny. So Bunny, but Bunny and I had been like conversing here and there. And just she called me that in, 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 in September and she was like, um, we're talking about something. It goes about probably Nancy Pelosi <laughs> right, and then yeah. something about Bernie Sanders. And yeah. I was like, Bunny, have you ever, ever thought about doing a podcast? She's like, Monet, <laughs> um, what's a podcast? <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> it's a really funny one of you from years ago. I said, like, "Do you remember doing the Derek and Romaine one on YouTube oh. years ago?" And she was like, "No." <laughs> and I was like, um, "I was like, but it's kind of like a radio show. Like you just talk. It's just like, well, do I have to get in drag?" I was like, "Not if you don't want to, but no one sees your face." She's like, "Well, um, <laughs> fuck you, fag." And then she hangs up the phone, legitimately. And I was like, "Oh my god!" So then. I was like, whatever. And then she called me again like a month later. I was like, Bunny, for real, let's do this podcast thing. And then we just planned a plan. And we came out in January. Oh it's fierce. It's I love it. I, I love know, it. it. It plays this dichotomy of Bunny's obviously from a very old school drag and how very she does old. things. Very, very old. Very old. what do you think you are? <laughs> Up and coming young children? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking 40-year-old man in our studio. Honey. <laughs> honey how old honey. are you? How old are you? I'm 31. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah, we're the same age, bitch. Uh, and how old are you? I just turned 42. No, oh. she didn't. No, you did not. That whore is 38. Eight. Oh my god! Whatever, lies, <laughs> vicious rumors. She's the only lies person I know trying to convince rumors. people she's older. Yeah. I mean, but honestly, but well, that's because you, you when you meet no, someone and they play that game of like, how old do you think I am? I don't play that girl, game. Bitch. I don't play it either. I do. Do and you I always? You guess go in. right. Uh, do you, Mama? I when I tell you, and this is my own. I was like, you know when when stars get asked this question, what's your secret talent? I was always I was sweat because I don't have any talent. But like, uh, this is actually my secret talent. So guess people's ages. Yep, especially actresses. Be like, oh, you know, Anne Bancroft, I'm like sixty two. Look it up. Really. And it's just like in my, and I'm always right. You're the you're the rain man of celebrity ages. Yeah, don't ask me to do it right now. But I'm always, I am like, it's, no, seriously. I'm like, I bet she's this old. And it's like literally that or like maybe a year younger. It was crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good at guessing people's ages. Okay. But you know, a young women or any kind of woman who's not a celebrity. You know, they never want you to. Tell they them never. Them. So they always go five years younger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm Madeline Ashton, which is like, how old do you think I am? And Madeline Ashton goes, 38. Yeah, like, 28, 28, 28 uh, 25, 25. 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am 72 years old. Yeah. Do y'all believe in psychics? Girl. <laughs> How much I believe, time do you have? I believe that there are people who believe they are psychics. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not real. Like, like well, Teresa Caputo. <clears throat> not Teresa Caputo. Shit. She's a great entertainer. 
Right. She's not and they just sit around and shit. They're like, you experience happy and sad feelings sometimes, right? She's a like, great yes, entertainer. Bitch, yeah. I, I get sad never happy. Have, on the Real Housewives, they always have psychic episodes. And yeah. this one bitch, girl, this one bitch, she got in this big fight, right? It was an old season, season two. So she mm-hmm. had an electric cigarette. Remember when people used to <laughs> smoke oh, cigarettes? Yes, electric, electric cigarettes. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. looked yeah, not like a vape. cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's yeah. smoking that. And then she gets in this big, the psychic gets in this big fight with one of the housewives. And the girl storms out. And the girl goes, and the psychic goes, I can tell you when she will die and everything that's going to happen to her family. And I love that about me. <laughs> <laughs> that Whatever. is fucking I love brilliant. That. Whenever a psychic comes to the housewives, it's incredible because it's a room full of people. Half of them are skeptics. Half of them are sobbing. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Talking yes. to their mom. Yeah. 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 My friend knew a Frank once. <laughs> you know, like, oh, oh, oh. And the psychics yeah. are so... Vague, yeah. so vague. Yeah, it's yeah. just a superfluous, just anything. Does anybody have a mother? People are like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> no. What about yeah. on Drag Race? What did you think of the psychic that came to feel out the energy? This season, <laughs> girl, yes, eighty four <laughs> years ago yeah. on this season, they had to, they should have asked yeah. the psychic how long is this season? Honestly, yeah. I don't remember, remember that. It was back so in twenty twelve. Uh, <laughs> the psychic came on the Dude, show. The drag Race started on January first. No, 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 listen. Here, the, here's a statistic. In drag, Race UK, <laughs> drag Race UK season two started three weeks after Drag Race season thirteen and finished two months before. That is it ended. insane. It's not true, but it feels oh that my way. God, yeah. Katya. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode of season thirteen was filmed on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I loved it. I mean, during pit stop, I was just like, "So, should I buy another house, or oh, like, girl, <laughs> how long are we gonna be here?" Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. But you know, now it's done. It's now, done. Yeah. All stars. Oh my god, we're gonna get a new bitch in the Hall of Fame soon. Is that Can't confirmed? Wait. No. <laughs> oh, can we talk about the no, night? No, you, uh, I know it's like kind of old news, but you won Drag Race. Oh my and god! Katya was there to crown I was you. There, I was there. I could not believe. Tell them what happened. <laughs> so I, they did. You guys did not know. We had no idea. You had no idea. No idea. No idea. And the real Trixie Mattel was booked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I walk in there looking like um, Trixie Mattel after like what two months of meth, and then like it was <laughs> sure, like, yeah. And um, after the marathon, <laughs> yeah, after the marathon, and then and I remember like sitting down with you guys and watching that, or no, you guys were sitting down. I was watching, I was watching the monitor and watching you guys, and yeah, Trinity, the look on her face is so funny. Oh girl, she was just like, it was like this. And, yeah. and you see, it's all those equations behind that meme, yeah. you know? And, um, um, well, I, I, as soon as, like, I was like, this, I was like, you cannot show, you need to just, bitch, watch your face and just, like, yeah. And ah. just smile. Yeah. There's nothing gonna happen if you smile. Were you mad? I wasn't mad. At first, honestly, my honest reaction at first, I was like, I would rather be second place and be able to come back. Then yeah. both of us share a hundred thousand dollars and share all the things. I was like, I don't want to sh- like, I don't want to share all that. You know you what I mean? Got your own money. Then. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got yeah, our yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when yeah. I found out we're getting our own everything, I was yeah. like, that work. And also, it'll probably never happen again. Yeah. So to have that moment Different. in time, yeah. you know what I mean? In, in queer culture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. Okay. That's a great pageant answer. <laughs> I'm, just <kidding. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You think <laughs> Trinity felt the same way? <laughs> oh no, I think Trinity fucking hated it. Yeah, yeah. she hated it. Yeah, I she bet like she coerced did. herself into liking it later on. Yeah. Well, also after we like had conversations, and I was like, "Girl, it's honestly the first time it'll ever happen. We both got our own shit. Like, no matter what camp you were, we wanted to win. Your person won. So, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Totally. So who cares? And she was like. I still hate it. And I was like, well, <laughs> not Monique's camp. <laughs> oh, not Naomi's God, camp. Monique. Bitch, Monique is so funny. Mo- ha- your friends are Monique. Love. Monique yeah, is love one her. of the wild. She is just chaotic energy all the time. She cracks my shit Oh, up. she's yeah. so funny. Yeah. She's so- I love Monique. Yeah. Love Monique. She'll come over to my house, and she brings a wig that she's sewing a bunch of human hair bundles into. <laughs> just hours of sewing, and then she puts it on and wears it home. <laughs> <laughs> That's very moody. Also, I told you, I take like a five milligram gummy, cut it in fourths, and go to Saturn. That's yeah. crazy to she me. She eats yeah. three, and she's like, I felt nothing. Yeah, yeah, she don't fuck around. I love Monique. I love, love, love She Monique. is so fucking funny, yeah, dude. she's hysterical. Yeah. You smoke the wacky weed? I do. I do like the marijuana. Do you marijuana. like the smoking, or do you do, like, what do you do? Do you just like I smoke like, joints? I like vapes, <laughs> edibles, and yeah. I since I've come to move to LA, mm. or, or like over the past like year, I've gotten into pre-rolls, but I don't know how to roll, and I don't yeah. like grinding it up and doing it myself it has to be who is for me. doing who's like i, I don't oh, know people love it though it's like it's like an art form some people yeah. love that shit but you it know what's going on about busy. it whatever what? people can fight me uh people are so everyone thinks they're the best at rolling a joint oh yeah people oh, it's God. like a thing i said mary they all look the fucking same it's yeah. just it's so it's so annoying Those and you lick it and then I, you lick it i put it in my mouth are yeah. you fucking yeah that's a good me? thing but, but but the people that pre-roll it they probably lick it too 
Yeah. Also, bitch, if you you eat ass, why do you care? Like, that's like when people find like a piece of hair in their food. I'm like, you eat booty. Like, yeah. why do you care? Not that everyone this hates booty. There's shit pretty in Pretty much your mouth. everyone does. There's, There's straight people love Do you not? Do you not like eating ass? Not really. You don't like eating ass, Mama. It's my f- the f- only thing I ever want to do. <laughs> I just want to be here. I wish there was a giant ass in my face. And you two were the fuck home. You notice how she's really. You notice how she's really aged up here, but completely exfoliated <laughs> yeah. and the nose down. The amount of Russian red Mac lipstick on that man's asses that is out there is just too much. Yeah. 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 Um so yeah, so I don't I don't I don't get bothered by stuff like that. I'm like it's just and, a little hair. And do you Oh, I had oh, a looking, looking There was blood. a bug a, a pretty big bug that flew into my um smoothie the other into day. Your ass? Yeah. <laughs> into my open gaped ass. Yeah. Into me, I know. The, um and and I was like, "Oh, I'll just eat that." Oh, well that's that's that, 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 Why that's the different. Fuck not. Like okay, how Why big of a bug? Fu- oh, it was a fly. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. It was a fly on a, on a turd. It was a fat head turd that had come into the... And, now, and it was thrown on my chest. Yes, yeah. It was a tur- it. the size of an okay, ice cube. Okay, it wasn't cube. a fly. It was a Pomeranian. <laughs> yeah. And I ate it. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Yes. Whoa, geez. Sorry, guys. Where does the time go? These days, I have just been glued to my computer and just enjoying the full depth and breadth of all of the utilities, programs, and bells and whistles from Canva Pro. I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna tell the truth just like Dr. Ruth when I say that Canva Pro has everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium videos, audio and photos and graphics plus canva pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up the creative process <laughs> an example in my life of uh, that very phenomenon was when i learned about their background uh replacement tool so basically i can take any picture of my niece at the movies and then with a click of a button with it just in a flash She's in front of the Taj Mahal without having to buy expensive airplane tickets. It's very great. I'm an amateur designer, but I do have dreams. I've got big dreams, and I want to go all the way to the Louvre, or at least, you know, maybe to King Coast. But so in any case, Canva Pro, they just, it's the most easy to design use platform that just, that helps you design like a pro, honey, okay? They just really do. And there's really no idea too big or too small for them. And I know a lot of you out there you really got your range from just amateur designers to full-fledged professional picassos but i gotta tell you they've got it all for you baby so design like a pro with canva pro right now you can get a free 45 day extended trial when you use my promo code just go to canva.me slash bald to get your free 45 day extended trial yes that's canva.me c a n v a dot m e slash bald canva dot me slash bald and you won't regret it honey not when you've got a three floor exhibition of your gorgeous illustrations at the guggenheim <laughs> you know what's not fair well there's so much in this world that's simply unfair but one thing in particular when it comes to entertainment in the comfort of my home the fact that netflix hides thousands of shows and movies from you based on your location and then has the nerve to increase their prices on you that's right they've just raised their prices once again now you could just cancel your subscription and protest or you could be smart about it and make sure you're getting your full money's worth by using express vpn like i do <laughs> see you might not know what's on netflix in your country is completely different from what someone in the uk or japan has on theirs but i have international friends i'm a citizen of the world so i know the deal using express vpn i can control which country i want netflix to think i'm in that's right like a teleportation like electronic sort of smoke machine kind of thing but it's legal it's legal expressvpn has over 90 countries to choose from so every time i run out of stuff to watch i just switch to another country to unlock new shows right now i'm watching twin peaks the return it's not on us netflix but with just one tap of a button expressvpn lets me change my location to brazil or argentina to watch it 
And here's the best part. It's not just for Netflix. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows on any other streaming services too. That's right. How do you like to use the BBC player? It's free and only available in the UK. ExpressVPN is also super fast and works on your phone, laptop, even smart TVs. So you can watch your shows on the big screen with zero buffering. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash bald. Don't forget to use my link so you can get three extra months free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash bald. Expressvpn.com slash bald to learn more. And we're back. Um, uh, um, um, love in LA. Have you found it yet? I have not. Well, girl. welcome, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm an LA girl. I yeah. knew a while ago, and you told me because you were surprising Bob. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Couldn't yes. tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I told you and Naomi. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I, we eventually had to tell Bob, when I, when I moved there, Bob, like, cried. Like, was he surprised? Cried. He was surprised. He cried? Yes, he cried. Why? Like, he a, said, Do you want to be my boyfriend? <laughs> I was like, oh, number four? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I need another boyfriend. <laughs> That's right. He is a, bi- a big love over there. Yeah. Bob big is love. Bob is so enamored by the masses. He cannot keep the men away from him. Yeah. Man. They all love Bob. Yes. Yes. They're surprising him. He, he, Jacob lied and said, like, you want to come visit my cousin who lives in LA? And Bob was like, we've been here for eight months. We're just going to visit her now. But Jacob was like, Yeah. So when I get to my house, of course, I ordered a fucking, I ordered Uber Eats, but Uber in LA is fucked up. Yeah, my Uber yeah. was supposed to get there with my food at like 3.20, and it moved to 3.40, yeah. and then it was 3.55, yeah. and it ended up being 4 or 5, which was Jacob's ETA as well. So then Jacob and the Uber and Bob led all in at the same time. So I opened my townhouse door, and then, and then Jacob and Bob are standing there, and the Uber Eats man is like... Come on, just Bob's crying. <laughs> no, Bob, not, Bob doesn't see me yet. Oh. So then I open the door and then I, I like my hand goes out to get <laughs> food. And Bob was like, Monet? And I was like, hey, girl. And then so, but he's still not putting it together. Mind you, my entire house is set up. Like, that's not like I got, I moved all my shit here. My entire home is set up. My picture is my everything. Both things. <laughs> <laughs> everything set up. Both of it. <laughs> Both of it. Both of it. So he comes up my stairs and like all, and I have like huge artwork. Like I have like artwork that's like 60 by 90, like mm-hmm. really big piece all over my head. And then Val comes in, he's like, I was like, do you notice? And I'm filming him. I was like, do you notice anything? Is anything look weird he's like no he's like what are you doing here i was like bob nothing in here looks weird to you nothing in this place looks weird he's like no uh, nice pictures i was like bob i live here now he's like this is crazy and then he starts crying it's like the whole thing we did it joe we, we did, did it, joe. it. it was yeah. very nice it was very That's sweet so he cute. loves you i love him i love you guys on sibling yeah it's fantastic it's, it's a lot it's so good and i've talked about this before but like you obviously love each other but you both want to be right and, but but you wants, know this. But Bob wants to be right more. Yes. And, yeah, you and know, Monet you will, knows just it. Like, whatever. I'll just whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monet yeah. knows it. Yeah. So <laughs> Monet will fight him just, just to like, to are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and like, Bob will stop the podcast to oh, Google something. It's yeah. crazy. To make sure he's right. Yeah. And Monet's like, mm, what's Bo- the source? <laughs> <laughs> Bob loves being right. He loves, he oh, no loves shit. being right. He loves, he's so comp- he's the most competitive person so I know. He also is really smart and like, he is right a lot. So whatever. Ah, it depends on the room. Right. It depends yeah. on the room. I'm so happy there's cameras. Mama, so we, get, <laughs> Mama, we did that Kinda. trivia thing the other day. I was like, he was like, just to let you know, I'm very competitive. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm also really smart. So whatever. <laughs> like, I'm really know. smart. Yeah. I'm really fucking smart. I went to fucking school, bud. Yeah. I will say it is white people keep their studios. It is cold in here. My, my, um, my feet are literally have You know what they said fight. to me out there? Cause I'm what? just being honest and be vulnerable in the studio today. I came oh. in here and they said, we've been working on getting this. They said, <laughs> they were like, we were trying to get this all ready for you. And it's been like a big hectic thing all day. And we were told that if it wasn't cold in here, you would get mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to say no, but then I thought of all the times I'm going to be in drag. And I said, I want people to know. Yeah. I'm like, amp up the story. One time Trixie walked in, it was hot. And she slapped someone like, I want that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Raise the stakes. Yeah. I did a thing. I can't, I'm not going to say drop any names over. I did like an industry thing. I went to like a party, blah, 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 blah. A, a hype house, tick, TikTok house party. <laughs> no. Um, and I heard a story about how like, Someone who is involved in a really big show is so like verbally abusive to their female assistants. And I was like, 
I'll tell y'all after the podcast. I don't want to spill anybody's tea, but I'm like riveted. Can we wrap this up so we can get to the story? I I say that to say, like, you like see these folk involved in like you know all this like celebrity thing, and you don't know how they're fucking assholes outside of. Oh yeah. Oh my god. So many people. Yeah. Um. So a a a producer at VH1 that I that I love and I've worked with forever. Back in the day, Mm -hmm. he was uh, a personal assistant of a a list star, a list star. Mm -hmm. Had to take him to small claims courts because the motherfucker didn't pay him. Really? And for a year, like a year's work and one because it was insane, incredibly cheap That's and crazy. just totally um, dismissive and outrageously ridiculous. And when I tell you who it is after we wrap here, uh-huh. you will gag. Kelsey really? Grammer. Yeah. <laughs> it was Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> yeah, you will gag. Gag. Mm-hmm. Gag. Well, How do y'all eat and not get the salads? I'm watching these two fucking people I'm sitting eat. Far away. Are y'all? Mm-hmm. We're not oh. like you, Monet. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm literally like, if I esophagus, I'm like, here all of it. <laughs> oh, I hated that. I hated, I hated that. that. I hated that. We just <laughs> talked about this dude before the podcast. It's like, the worst thing ever. The uh, worst thing ever. <laughs> well, welcome to Los Angeles. This is a call to action. Everybody in Los Angeles, if you want to have Miss Monet on your thing, if you want to book her, she's down the street now. Yeah, yeah she's girl, down the street and around the corner. Ellie's lit. It's so great. So many yeah. wonderful opportunities are just going to fall into your lap. Yeah. Do you think that is the best decision you made to move to LA? Are you kidding? Really? Yeah. I mean, I love. <laughs> still thinking. <laughs> I love Wisconsin, but yeah. I, I love it here. Yeah. I the just, weather or the people or the or the vibe? Not the people. <laughs> not are you kidding? <laughs> TikTok influencers who begrudgingly drive Uber during the day. The fucking worst oh, sludge of the earth, bitch. Sludge of the goddamn earth. Less People blocking traffic on Hollywood Boulevard, pulling out their ass and taking a picture of it. Like I was literally, did I just tell you I saw, I was almost witness a homicide on, on the way here? I, I'm not joking. So I was in an Uber. My Uber is Russian, so we're a little chit chat. And um, this uh, BMW came in fast and the furious, like with millimeters to spare like screeched in front of us is driving like a, I mean, uh, very scary, very, very scary. I've never seen anything like this. Really? Screaming. And then of course it gets to a red light and I'm where we were talking like, Oh my God, what the hell is so crazy. And the guy's like, is Armenian. I know he's Armenian. <laughs> <laughs> we pull up right next to him. The motherfucker's Armenian. Yeah. And the Porsche pulls up behind him, gets out of the car. Oh my God. And s- goes right to the window, hands in the window. You motherfucker. Got out of the-, the Armenian is like veins bulging, throwing it right back at him. I will fucking kill you, you motherfucker. <gasps> and we go, it was so scary. I swear to God, if there was a gun. It was it Kim would, K. It, it was Kim K. <laughs> yeah, it was Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. It was, uh, uh, but if there had been Not firearms, <laughs> the, uh, we, we should we would have st- seen somebody get shot. That's and wild. the Russian guy was just like, Armenia. I know it was him. In Russia, you can do that. Not here in the States. Yeah. Like apparently that's how they well, drive in, in New York, Russia. I, I have noticed this. So I have a car here and I noticed that in LA, it's about defensive drive, driving. New York and New Jersey are the only offensive. places where it's offensive. Yes, Boston uh, oh. too. Boston too. New York Boston is like yeah. I'm oh. the only one on the road. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah. Like you have to seize. Like yeah. don't indicate you, to go over. Indicate, yeah. but don't wait. Bitch, take your yeah. go yeah, when you're like going. Changing lanes in New York. <laughs> it's driving first. And then signaling. Yeah, yeah. Ask like for forgiveness, not permission. I, 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 ask for bad. forgiveness. Yeah. Well, Boston is actually, it's not really offensive or defensive, it's just drunk driving. Drunk yeah, driving. Drunk driving. I was, I've had great dick in, in Boston. Well, because there's a lot of, it's a, it's a very repressed city. They get that taboo dick. Girl. They get that taboo dick. Girl. Those DL you guys throw put the wig it back. On. <laughs> I definitely put a wig on in Boston. Oh, mama. I've only been there, tw- I've been about three or four times and they were for a gig. So after the gigger, I'm like, I'm, Hello? You, you going out tonight? No, girl, I'm staying in. Yeah. I'm staying in. I'm just tired. I'm just How many tired. times have you pulled the I'm just tired and it's predict? <laughs> yeah. So many tired times. equals discreet encounters <laughs> for discerning gentlemen with <laughs> plenty of on-street parking. <laughs> have you ever done just the wig for the men? Absolutely. Bitch, I put on just a lipstick. Bitch, Thanks. full on balding black man. <laughs> no uh, way. Uh, yes, real, not real. shaved legs, not anything. Bob. Just a Bob. <laughs> Just a, lip- Bob. just a lipstick on. I'm like, hey. <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's, it's that meme. Hey, hey do you do how that? You <laughs> like, what is the feminized voice? Do you do that <clears throat> whole feminized voice? Do it, give it a little. I mean, and I, I really can't, so I just, I, my voice doesn't do it. So I'm just like, hey, how are you? Yeah, just a little, yeah, just, just a cup, just, just a, just a, a little bit higher. A few, yeah. a few, yeah, a few yeah. like about three semitones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you and Bunny talked about it when you guys were talking about, because you didn't know about Bunny's phone sex career. I- yeah, could you believe the story about Hard Turd? That's c- crazy. Do you know about the story? I have not heard uh, this story. Bunny used to work at a phone sex line. I mean, that's and absolutely not surprising. There was a guy that would call to talk to her. Her name was Pepper. Pepper. 
Pepper. But he was Pepper. <laughs> Oh and the guy would God. call him. The guy was really into scat, sure. or as you have that guy calls it, poopy doopy, or, or whatever he said, <laughs> <A> poopy panties. <laughs> and I call Bunny to talk about poop, and Bunny goes, "I got a big surprise for you." <laughs> oh my God, that's great! Yeah. yeah, and you know, you keep on the phone longer, yes. they pay more money. So Bunny's going, but I, my, like that hasn't dropped. You know, it hasn't dropped yet. It's gonna whatever. Uh-huh. And then she goes, "I'm standing over you in hot, wet <laughs> diarrhea," and he stops and goes, "No." Hard turd only. <laughs> if you want to hear stories like that, listen to Ebony and Irony, yes. bitch. Hard turd only. Hard turd only, you know girl. H-T-O. I heard that story before your podcast. Really? From her. <sighs> H-T-O. Real. Yeah, bro. H-T-O. H-T-O. Oh, hard turd Get only, got it. Get that diarrhea out of my face. And you were, <laughs> you were doing your phone voice on your show. Yeah. Oh my god! It's not, it's, it's not great. What would your sex no, name be? No, that's nice. My sex name. I I feel like I'd be an Angie. When you oh, pick up Angie. the guys, do, oh, you did say Angie. Angie. When you pick up the guys, do you do you say Monet? Oh yeah, Monet. So they know who you are a lot of times. No, they. I don't. I, if they do, they don't. They don't say, say they do. They don't say they do. That's or great. they wait till after. That's what happens to me. Yeah, yeah. and they'll text me. I be like, I had a great time. By the way, love you on Instagram. I'm like. Ugh. Oh girl, Blocked. they pull out of me Blocked. and go. Blocked. Yes, they pull out of me and go. Unless By the way, great. a condom broke and Shangela was robbed, and they fucking <laughs> storm out of my house. <laughs> Monet, thank you for coming on the show today. Yes, thank you for thank having you. me. This is a blast. Let everybody know where they can find you. Yes, you can find me on Instagram, Monet Exchange, Twitter. I, I like TikTok sometimes. It's too much. It's all too much. Girl. Um, but, uh, and I still, I still frequent the Facebook. A lot of kids turn their back on oh, Facebook. I how retro! <laughs> <laughs> and tell us again how you're not in Bunny's generation. <laughs> yeah. You're on Facebook for <laughs> wing jokes. Yeah, seriously, you're bitch, you on Facebook too. I'll be seeing you on there. Oh, sure. I, I do post on that fan page. You do. You, no, you're regular. You're old one. I never on that. Oh, ooh, the girl. Somebody got once you. Once a year, I show, somebody got no, you. Somebody got once you. a year, I show up on my own Facebook and I go, "Is anyone still here?" Yeah. And I wait another year. Yeah. And then I come back and go, "Are you horse still here?" Yeah. Because it's you know you know what Facebook went downhill for me when people stopped hosting their statuses and just started posting. They would share articles. Articles. That is a, this share is a big article thing. Twelve yeah. reasons you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, it, it as soon as I got on Drag Race, it became like because my my feed was not curated anymore. Mm-hmm. I accepted too many fr- friends or something like that. You yeah. know how you reach that? I don't know if it's like that. You reach that limit. Yeah. No, all of a sudden, I'm looking at this. I'm just looking at spam all day. If you yeah. want to know how extinct Facebook is, the most followed drag queen on Facebook is Jujube. Is she really? Yes. Oh, Word. that is, yeah. Then, yeah a, get out a of relic it. of a bygone okay. era. And that's uh, shade. I'm yeah. deleting my account right now. Shade. <laughs> I hit crickets and magic. I love that. And it works, good. though. Magic it works like, like my drag name, cr- My drag name, Cricket Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Cricket Magic sounds like she would sell drugs out of a fanny pack at white party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Hashtag you gotta go Cricket see Cricket Magic. Magic. Yeah, yeah, girl, she got, she got all the good shit. Bath salts. She, she, she doesn't even lick her own blunt. She, she, she doesn't, you know, get them dirty for you. <laughs> she won't lick the roll. I love that. Bye. Well, well, Angie, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Angie. Bye, guys. <laughs>